Atlanta, and uh, that's where we hung out the most. And we would just be like, all right, what do you want to do? Let's go out. We go have drinks. Go have grab a bite. And then we end up going out, and you have fun. And then we start joking on each other. It's just, it's like you're with your boys. And it just sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. We're lucky this time it happened very easily. That's a good point. It, that's Doesn't not always happen. this way. And sometimes yeah. it can be, you can force it. You know that, that you want to have that chemistry read on camera. And, you know, this, this. luckily for us, we were fortunate. It kept building and building and yeah. getting stronger. And it was almost as if, like, we should have more boy scenes towards the end of the movie yeah. because it's, we're peaking now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it was funny. Even I remember the first day we shot all in the garage. It was kind of incredible because, you know, we, we rehearsed it very little and we didn't, you know, go over it all together, but everyone kind of fell into their place and into their role without having to say anything. It was a very cool thing that happened. Thank you. Um, and, you know, that, that does again, that doesn't happen often. It kind of just, everybody just clicked into their role, knew their position, knew what we had to do, and we were lucky that we had to have fun along the whole way, which was, you know, it was actually sad when it ended. You know, Rami went into deep depression. Uh, <laughs> Scott couldn't write music anymore. <laughs> and I just started growing a beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not made retired, huh? <laughs> Looks good, though. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, my mom has the biggest crush on Ramon, by the way, I'm on the record. Just put that out there. I love well, whose name is Ramon in your family? Me. My middle name is Ramon. Yeah, your middle name's name's Ramon. Ramon. Yeah. 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 Did, did you do it? Did you do any actual um, like flying? Were you? Can you? Yeah. I mean, the deal was is a lot of the scenes were, you know, when we're actually shooting, when we're filming. I, I had you know control over the aircraft, but I wasn't doing any maneuvers. Mm. Uh, I, I learned how to keep the, the plane steady, you know, so you know it looked like I was piloting this aircraft. And there was obviously a professional pilot, Rick, who was with me the whole time. And I, I, I don't think I could have ever done this movie if it wasn't for Rick and Craig, who were the head stunt guys with the, the aircrafts the whole entire time. I mean, their confidence and, and them just being calm on the day and, and guiding me gave me the confidence and, and, and made me less nervous. You know, these guys have been doing this for, for years, decades. You know, uh, some of the best stunts we've seen in some of the biggest movies, Craig and Rick had, you know, their hands at it. You know, they were the ones really developing a lot. I think uh, Craig was the one who did the shot in flight when Denzel was going past the church, and it's that diagonal, like the sideways wow. shot. They really did that for real. He really went sideways and got that shot. So, like, you know, th these guys, are, you know, they're <laughs> they're they're, they're, the cult, yeah, they're the coldest at what they do. So, you know, uh, I, I had very little time to prep, but on the day, you know, it was it was. Is exciting. So a lot of the shots, you know, I, I just learned the basics on how to start the, the aircrafts, how to keep them stable, and that's it. I can't do. I can't. I can't. Don't trust me with your life. You know what I'm saying? How to not crash was really what it was about. Scott coming up to the. To that was like the we're, first night we were. The first time right we all got hung out. Scott comes in the room. He's like. You actually gotta fly this shit. Like, I'm kind of fucking scared. Of this shit. And like, I thought it was gonna be CG. You they're like putting me up there. They're putting me up there. there. And I'm like, we're like, bro, it's gonna be cool, man. Like, they wouldn't put you in a good spot. Yeah, yeah. I was like, all right. I was like, it's not fair. Y'all get to be on your feet. Yeah. <laughs> on the ground. You know? yeah. But he killed it. Your music also in the film, did, did your involvement here start with music first and then is it like, hey, let me in the film as well? Or no, you know, I wish you could be like that. I wish you could be like that. No. Um, you went in, I, in the room. Yeah, I went in just like, and, and that's how it's been for the past five years. I've been going auditions, going in the room like everybody else. And it's a separate craft for me. It's, you know, the music is one thing and the acting is another. Uh, so with every project, I'm never thinking like, ooh, I can do something for the soundtrack. I'm, strictly thinking about the role and, and playing a character and then you know occasionally you'll have you know the director you know ask me what I think about you know the soundtrack or would I be interested in doing something and, and me and Scott started having those conversations within the first couple weeks of the first couple weeks of shooting and it, you know we didn't really get into it until the movie was done and then he kind of gave me the last three minutes of the film I scored to that and then made the song around the score. You know what I mean? So it was really about like getting the the the, the vibe, creating a, a theme, an anthem for Toby's character, and then the lyrics and, and you know, it, it it came it came together fairly quickly. Um, thank God. I mean the, the inspiration was there for me to have a visual in front of me. 
really helped out a lot, you know, because it's tough to be a musician for hire, which is something that I, I kind of <coughs> dabbled in with songwriting, and it, it, it's nerve-wracking because I, I, I just have a problem with authority, and uh, you know, I'm an anarchist, and uh, <laughs> I just am my own boss with music, so it, it's it's tough to to do these, you know, musician for hire, uh, you know, uh, jobs, but. I was a part of the movie, I understood the tone, I understood the characters, and also uh, I, I knew what Scotty Wall was looking for, and I knew what the film needed at the end, so it worked out. And you realize now this, in theory, puts you in the running for a Best Song Oscar next year. I, I don't know about that. I mean, <laughs> shit. Uh, <laughs> we'll, I mean, Disney we'll has see. a good reputation for getting the songs out there. Oh, so. man, I mean, we'll <laughs> see. You know, it's all blessings. I really just want to, you know, I'm, uh, I'm just... Just humbled to even have the opportunity to act in such a great film and then to do a song. You know, it's, it's crazy. Time for one more question, guys. Did, did you guys play the Need for Speed games growing up? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. so that was, must have been a lot of fun to be a part of this project, knowing that, right? That was like the first race game I ever played. I think it was the only game for a while. Um, you know, uh, Need for Speed was like it was that, and then Crash Bandicoot. Those were like the two games <laughs> on my PlayStation. Uh, and yeah, I, I think everybody loves a good old racing game, and Need for Speed is that, you know. So I, I got into it. What about you guys? I, I used to go to the arcades. Remember the arcades? <laughs> <laughs> Remember them arcades? I still go. <laughs> I still go. That's where yeah. I like to play my racing game, right? You yeah. get to sit in yeah. there. It's like, get but you feel like a dinosaur at arcade. You I love like it. I know. You feel, I I, it. Oh, I thought you meant large, like way too big. Like, no, well, this, just like this, old. This, just like, man, no, I, like, you have I want to get the quarter. tickets, you know. Yeah. 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 Go back there. A thousand tickets. You get like one keychain. Yeah, that's good for <laughs> I just went there like last week. It was amazing. No, I never, play, I never played Need for Speed though, but I do love car racing games. I do, but like yeah. you said, I, I love the arcade. You're yeah. actually in the motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I actually have a uh, cruising USA in my crib in Chicago. I have like the you sit in oh chair. God. You and played and that? Holy! Oh, I went on an ultimate quest wow. to find this. It was like. Um, <clears throat> I hired an interior decorator and I sent him on this mission. It's like usually these guys are finding curtains, and I was like, now listen, <laughs> I need you to find me. <laughs> I need you to find me. <laughs> cruising Exotica. It has to be Cruising Exotica. You know, was he happy about it, or was he like, he oh, was I like, got I don't stuck know with the about wrong it. guy. <laughs> well, there was I want to find Persian rugs. <laughs> <laughs> he got the rugs first. I made sure you got the rugs. <laughs> really, I really <laughs> made sure that he got these games for me because I, you know, I, it, like we're we're that's our generation coming up in the arcade. We used to go to the arcades. Oh, these yeah. kids now they don't want, need to go anywhere. You mm -hmm. Play your Xbox mm -hmm. and shit. Mm -hmm. and you, you can be antisocial. It was like kind of like an experience oh, going yeah. to the arcade. So you got your tickets. You would get girl stuff. I love, love that. I'm telling you, I'm all about that. <laughs> <laughs> I love arcade and tickets. It's romantic. Let's go out That's there. a hot date. That's a hot date. That's a hot date. Maybe go off the arcade. In fact, I shouldn't be putting that out there because now I'm going to see everybody on dates at arcades. I'm like, ah. Oh, Can you see what you're trying to do with your date? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. It says a lot. Yeah, yeah right? So you don't miss Pac-Man. Oh, you're not coordinated. We can't date. Yeah. <laughs> can't dance. Yeah, you can't even make it to the point where Pac-Man Pac-Man meets Mrs. Come on, man. I'm out of here. It's not going to work. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.